It's just such a beautiful day out there. Go cards. Go cards. Well, good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. It is Thursday, October the 10th, 2019, and two things are certain. The Nationals are going to play the Cardinals in the National League playoffs. One of those guys are going to end up in the World Series. And uh, I think we have some other games tonight, uh, you know, if the Orioles are out of it, which <laughs> for years they have been, yes, troll away. I'm sure I'll get lots of Orioles suck comments, but that's okay. That's I'm a Baltimore girl tried and true. Um, but I tell you what, hats off to the Nats for that comeback. If you're a Dodgers fan, I apologize. It was a hard-fought game. You guys, I thought you guys had that series sewn up. And there's all sorts of wild conspiracy theories, but the bottom line is... Two teams played really hard last night, and um, two teams got it. So I think the first game of the uh, National League playoffs is going to be in St. Louis. So that's it's going to be an uphill battle for the Nationals from this point forward. May the best of the teams win. I hope everybody uh, gets involved and has some fun. Baseball, it's the American pastime. I've been watching it since I was a little girl. But kudos. Great, great games last night. Um, did not expect the Nationals to pull that out of their hat, but they sure did. So we've got some baits for you guys. It is Thursday. I am, uh, wow, just coming down the home stretch here as far as what I'm going to be able to get done before I go on vacation to see the family and go salmon fishing to see some of my best friends on the planet. Um, really excited, really excited for this cross-country road trip. It is well over... Let's see, it's 1,100 miles from Jonesboro, Arkansas to Maryland, where I'm going. And then it's going to be another six, no, it's 417 miles, another 417 miles up to upstate New York. We're going to be on the Salmon River next week, folks. So I'm going to be leaving here. When am I leaving here? I'm leaving here Sunday night, Monday morning, somewhere in there. So um, we've got just a couple days left of uh, updates from the shop here, and I am going to be giving those to you as fast and furiously as I can. I'm going to try. I'm really going to try and do one more spray session. I've been loading you guys down with spray sessions, which is what I wanted to do, so you'll have plenty of stuff to occupy yourselves while I'm on the road. I will be vlogging. I will be. The cameras are going with me. We're going to have a great, great trip, and we're going to film the entire trip. So the first part of the trip is going to be going to Maryland. The second part of the trip is going to New York. The third part of the trip is back to Maryland, dip back down to Virginia for a quick visit with my mom, and then back up to Maryland, and then down to Orlando and Disney. So the next three weeks are going to be insane. I've been looking forward to them. I'm a little scared because I have hemorrhaged money. Good Lord, the water heater and the cat in the vet, and I had to get tires, and the windshield was bust. I mean, it's just been one thing after another. It has been crazy. Um, but this is the one time of year when I get to see my family on the East Coast, so I have to go. I have to go. I want to go. I love them. Um, but we've got some baits. I've got three orders to show you guys today. I don't want to get in the weeds financially. It's just you guys know, especially if you're homeowners, houses are money pits. Houses can be money pits. So... This is going out to Jose Martinez down in Texas. Thank you so much for the order. This is that beautiful, beautiful natural trout on a lipless. It's one of my 2019 lipless trouts. And I absolutely love painting these patterns. Just It almost glows with that salmon color in the middle. Those natural eyes. And a beautiful copper sheen, black magenta on the top. Just a all-around gorgeous pattern. Love doing these. Next up, we have got, uh, let's see, we'll, let's do Lawrence's. Lawrence Jones has got six pieces going out this morning. We've got that Norfolk Craw, one of my favorites to do on these little Johns. All around beauty. Simple, effective. Definitely the, the fish are moving up to feed heavy before they get into their winter slump. So, this is a great depth. This is a 
well, comfortably it'll go six to eight feet. It might go all the way down to nine, but usually I would go in the five to seven, six to eight max on this, although it does say that it is a true medium depth, which would go to nine. I've never been able to grab it down to nine feet, um, but they're close, but it's a fantastic, the, the wobble in this is good. Love the eyes on this. Blackberry Jam. There's about five different blends going on in this. You've got that Plum Pearl into an Indigo Midnight Blue, into that Black Magenta, into a True Purple. And then just a little dust of silver on the nose. And uh, Jetson reverse eyes. These are really cool prism eyes with a black exterior and that prism pupil. That'll definitely be a good trigger on this one for the fish. So I wanted to upgrade those eyes for you, Lawrence. This is the Neon Seed. These are all fluorescent paints blended together. We've got that hot pink on the bottom into the flow orange, into the flow green, into the flow yellow, into fluorescent blue, and then finally some fluorescent raspberry and uh, a shot of pearl across the entire bait and those beautiful iridescent glow eyes. No red on this one, on the dot, on the ear flap. Um, this, this bait is bright. The whole, the whole body is a trigger on this one, on this Dinger S. Love the scaling on this. This is that metal mesh. And it is, okay, so I don't know if they are no longer selling the Doris metal mesh on Amazon, but I am finding it at walmart.com. You can, if you're in the States and Canada and Mexico, I'm not sure about our European friends. If you guys are watching me from overseas across the pond in Australia or China, the Philippines, I had a guy from Taiwan that has been an avid watcher saying that he's having a hard time finding it. So, or Thailand, I'm sorry, not Taiwan. Big difference. My apologies. Um, I think I got that right. Paul, if I don't have that right, my apologies, and please feel free to correct me where you're from. But we were talking about this online, and he's like, I cannot find this anywhere. I hadn't been able to either for a long time, but that metal mesh, the metallic mesh, I'm, I would hope that they send overseas or ship overseas. But that's the, the, the words that I usually use in a search string is Doris metallic mesh. But here in the States, they do have it. Paul, if you get in a bind when I get back, if you haven't found any by the time I get home in mid-November... Um, hit me up and I'll send you some. That's uh, I don't do that, but you've been looking for it for a long time and you've been a fan of the channel for a long time. So if you're out there, Paul, um, I will help you out for sure. That's we gotta. It's a good. It's a community. We gotta do what we gotta do. So I normally don't uh, give that stuff away. It's hard to come by, but since it is being found more often these days, I will see what I can do for you. This is that deep seed. This does have the ear flap. And this is a pretty good, almost a pastel muted color. And that little red dot on the ear flap. Those traditional red sunfish eyes. And then instead of putting black or white on underneath on this i did shoot uh, black on it and then i shot sand and bone over that and then did the mesh and the blend so that's if you guys are interested you can see a little bit of the black or the darker up top um if you guys want to know how i did this particular spray because you can see a lot of light instead of black veining you can see that bone sand and then kind of fades up into that darker. So love the way that this turned out. This is one of my favorite patterns to actually fish with. I do fish with my own stuff when I have the opportunity to. I normally don't. But I am going to take a few of my, my things with me when I go on this trip. This is Easter morning. Reminds me of an Easter egg. But just beautiful muted colors. That black veining. This is black under spray. And then the mesh. A little bit of black underneath and the two colors uh the two primary colors over top of this black is a pearl fluorescent raspberry 
and um, I want to say that the other color that I used on this was a Maui blue mixed with a, a sky blue, an opaque sky blue, just to soften that Maui, because Maui can be a really bright blue at times. So there's Easter morning. And then the last one that Lawrence asked for was this wounded minnow on the holograph. A couple of these are holographic. Um, actually, the S's are holographic. And then this is that holographic dinger on the wounded minnow. Lots of blood splatter on this, but hey, it is uh, the month of Halloween, so why not? Uh, all of these, by the way, you can get on www.jekyllbaits.com. They are available and have been available um, for the duration of the website. The website's turning four years old, you guys. That's pretty awesome. Pretty excited about that. And we're approaching 500 videos on this channel, so lots of exciting things coming. I think my 500th video is going to be from the road. I'll probably hit it by then because I'm going to do a couple more this weekend while I'm still here in the shop. This is Tom Gramodski's from up in upstate New York where I'm going to be heading. We might actually have a meetup, Tom. Um, and I hope I said your name correctly. I think I did. Yeesh. You know, it is Thursday, and I do, I've got coffee here, so. This is the Nolens Crawl. This is on a 2.5. It's one of the square bills on the two, 2019. It's got jets and eyes on it. Lots of white dots, and that fluorescent orange belly just kind of looks like it's on fire. A lot of gold and purple up top, which is a traditional, uh, it makes me think of Mardi Gras. Makes me think of Louisiana. You guys, a close up. Those eyes, man. I tell you what, you can't beat the eyes. Just beautiful, beautiful eyes. We have an Eastern baby bluebird with those uh, mega bass eyes. And this is on that Dinger Atlas. I tell you what, I've I've done a lot of testing on this particular blank, and his it's a unique blank to him completely to him at Dinger. So go see Brian at Dinger if you want these. They come in silent, and they come also in rattling. This is the silent version of that, which is what Tom asked for. It looks like a baby bluebird. I did not put the bill intentionally on this, because I know exactly what he's going to be using this for. We have a breeding crappie. Can't forget about crappie. It's got that moss green back. This is also on a um, on a holographic 1.5. Lot, lots of dinger baits this morning. I'm featuring pretty much all of his. But he's got some pretty unique stuff that nobody else has, which is one of the reasons I like working with Brian. And the stuff he always vets very well. It's always quality. You're not going to get junk. Anything that you purchase from Ryan, you're not going to get junk. I promise you that. You have my word of honor. And usually, if he gets something that doesn't pass the muster, um, he'll put it on a scratch and dent, and he'll tell you exactly what it is, whether it's a an eyelet that's a little bit off kilter. This is that pink belly blue ice craw. And these guys smash smallmouth in New York with them. This is one of the best patterns for that. And I think it's one of Tom's favorite as well. Very cool. And last but not least, he asked for a, a wake bait. He asked for the Rat Runner. Also, that bright pink belly on it, which is going to do quite well. But this is the mouse and these have just come off the clear coat rack so i need to get busy get these clean get these out the door today for these boys i will see you guys on the next one thanks for hanging out thanks for checking out the channel this morning i hope you guys have a fantastic weekend i'm going to a football game tonight and then all weekend i'm going to be spraying and filming for you guys so hopefully we'll get one more spray session and maybe one more um shop update before i get on the road and I'm going to try and get at least one or two uploads while I'm gone for you guys. So I'll recommend some stuff. But there is in the playlist now, 
I've got a, a specific playlist just for spray sessions on the channel. So if you go to playlists and click that, you can see everything that I've ever done um, from the crusty, cringy beginnings <laughs> right through now. So you guys have a fantastic week. I'll talk to you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting.